Latest. Hi, Nick. That's right. Well, the House of Commons have just approved this six-week suspension for Rob Roberts after he sexually harassed a former employee of his. But as you said, he is facing now significant calls to resign. And that's because even though this suspension has been approved, it won't trigger a recall petition, which could in turn lead to a by-election. And that's because the suspension was recommended by an independent expert panel, which is separate from MPs. It wasn't handed out by Parliament's Standards Committee, who usually deal with things like the abuse of expenses, for example. And he's not just facing calls to resign from opposition parties either. He's facing calls from senior Conservative politicians too. Just earlier, uh, the leader of the House of Commons, Jacob Rees-Mogg, said it would be the honourable thing to do for him to stand down. He also said uh, that it was frankly ridiculous that we have a higher sanction in place as it stands uh, for people misusing parliamentary envelopes than we do for sexual misconduct. Uh, and in terms of what might happen now, I mean, the UK government are trying to change, saying they are looking at trying to change this law that, so that any suspensions like this in future could trigger a recall petition. And I understand that Labour have also been seeking advice from parliamentary council, i.e. kind of lawyers here, about whether anything could be done to try and force a by-election in this case of Rob Roberts. But I think it's also worth reflecting what some of his constituents in Dellen are feeling about the fact that currently they don't have a say about whether or not he should remain their MP. Just to read you a couple of things I've heard from them today, uh, totally unacceptable wrong, unsafe, not fit. Just some of the comments that constituents in Dellen have been telling me today about what they feel about not having a say on him remaining their MP. Now, currently as it stands, no indication that he is planning to resign, but the pressure is certainly building with both the chair of the Standards Committee and leader of the House of Commons saying it would be the honourable thing to do. But he hasn't uh, accepted any of our requests today for comments or further interviews on this. Ione Wells at Westminster, thank you very much indeed.